Good afternoon and good morning. Welcome to your mid-show on this very, very chilly Thursday afternoon here in the UK. I hope you are well. I hope you are busy crafting if you've got that opportunity. I hope you're just nice and cosy and warm while you are doing your bit of crafting or whatever it is that you're doing today. Maybe you're at work and you're just having a little sneaky watch. Then it's lovely to have your company, however and wherever you are watching us. This show here, it's all about a masterclass and it's all about an embossing masterclass. Now, who could we have to do the masterclass? Well, if you'll have seen Wake Up Call earlier on, you'll know who exactly is going to be doing this masterclass. Someone that I absolutely adore embossing folder so so much that she was like I'll do the master class it is of course it's my buddy my friend it's Debbie yes and I can't wait can't wait to get started um, we already hinted earlier on um, with the wake-up call of the king things that we're going to be covering it is all about embossing it's all about some techniques some card making and other things as well uh, that we've got on the show we did say earlier we want you to be interactive yes. so if there's something you wanted to see drop onto those socials put your comments in there and the social team will feed them back through or the social media superstore whichever one it is today Rachel again is it today? our lovely Rachel not the Rachel of the bras 
no. the bra card that I've been trying no. to find out. Okay. Yes, I thought it was our Rachel. It's not that Rachel. It's not my cheeky chops Rachel who I know. Um, I don't know which Rachel it is, so I'm still <laughs> none the wiser. Uh, so I have no idea where that card come from. However, I would love it. Uh, but yeah, so drop those me drop the messages into Rachel. She'll pass them on to, uh, to Craig. And if I can incorporate it into a show, even if it's just a quick technique, uh, I will do. We're going to cover some techniques like letter pressing. We're going to do things like um, embossing onto um, vellum and uh, ac acetate as well, because I did get asked mm -hmm. about that. So there's lots of things that are on there that we're going to cover through this class, uh, because that's what it is. It's a master class, and it's all about the interaction with yourself as well. So I'm looking forward to it, Craig. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So as we said, Rachel, is on the comments and she's saying uh, Lindsay hashtag grow live granny is saying ready and waiting from a sunny Isle of Wight and well on the road to recovery from Mano for no I can never say that there um Man oh gosh now this is a good start um not not Menorca um Mano I can never say it um apologies spell it for us P-N-E-U-M-O-N-I-A. Pneumonia, there you go. Pneumonia. I hate words like that. I hate them. They stump me. The, the tongue twisters. Recovered from Menorca. If only. If only, Lynn. Uh, well, it's glad to see and read that you are on the mend. We've also got Sonia is saying good morning from Oklahoma. Fran is in from Maryland. Eva's in from San Antonio, Texas, where my favourite WWE wrestler is from, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, just to say. Margaret is in from England. England. Paul Print times four is saying good morning from South Carolina. Diane is in saying good morning from Florida. I love the embossing classes. You're going to love the two hours. Pamela saying afternoon, everyone. We've got Christine saying hello again, everyone. This is going to be a great day with Craig and Demolicious Debbie and the whole wonderful team. We have got well, both, well we've got both Tracy and Julia just outside, and then we've got. Uh, well, a mix. So we've got Johnny and then we've also got Jamie and George as well. You, later on, you'll have Ben on this side with the show with Totally Tiffany, but we'll go over that just shortly. And Charlotte Everett on YouTube saying, Afternoon, everyone. Super excited for this. I love embossing folders. Only been here since October and already two drawers of embossing folders, not including Christmas. Well, by the end of this masterclass, you're going to have lots and lots and lots of ideas as to what you're going to be doing with them and getting creative with them. As Debbie said, any specific questions, fire them across, and uh, where possible, Debbie will start to incorporate them for sure. But let's have a look when it comes to masterclass. It is all about the 3D embossing folders. Now, there is a complete collection that we'll go over just at the end, and they consist of three collections of embossing folders. So what we'll do is we'll go over each one individually because you can get them on their own if you want to. And this one here is the 3D frame embossing folder. So it's a six-piece embossing folder set where you're going to get it all for 80, 18 pound or $24. What? Yeah, definitely right. Definitely right for the six of them. So you're going to be getting your exquisite blooms. You're going to be getting your luscious lilies. You're also going to be getting your elegant frame trio. Also going to be getting your elegant flourish. You're going to be getting your classic lace. And then you're going to be getting your swirling lace as well. So you've got a combination of your larger and smaller and also your DL embossing folders as well. So all of them you are getting 18 pound or 24 pound. If you are platinum, that is going to come down to 14 pound 40 or of course $19 20. They are part of that complete collection as I say. So if that's one that you're maybe thinking, mm, I might go for that hang fire and I'll go over those details once I've gone over three collections. We've also got our 3D panel embossing folder. Now it's a nine pack. However, you are going to be getting 18 folders because you get two within each pack. So these ones are your panel embossing folders. You've got textured knit. You've also got traditional textiles. You're even getting your decorative swirls. You're also going to be getting your vintage swirls. Also then going to be getting your classic damask. You're also going to be getting your beautiful blooms. You're going to be getting your timeless tiles. 
also going to be getting your Bloom and Grow, and then you're also going to be getting your Woodland Splendor. So that one, if you want to go for just that one on its own, all of that is £35 or $45. If you, our Platinum, it is going to then come down to £28 or $36, of course. It is part of the whole collection, but that is it as an individual collection, if you so wish. And then last but by no means least, when it comes to the third one that makes up that whole collection, Section, or if you want to go for it individually, it is your floral frame cut and emboss folder. This is an eight piece. Now, Debbie actually done a gorgeous demonstration with this one within Wake Up Call. But you are going to be getting your peony blooms. You're also going to be getting your beautiful blossoms. Also going to be getting your forget me nots. You're then going to get your classic winter rose. Also getting your vibrant rose. You're also going to be getting your Dancing Daffodils, also going to be getting your Striking Gerbras, and then you're also going to be getting your Fragrant Manolias. So all of these ones, £77 or $89. If you are Platinum, that's going to come down to £61.60 or $71.20. So you've got that option if you do want to go for them all individually. However, we do have that full collection with a little bit of a benefit as well by going for that whole collection. It's the Embossing by the Show collection. 24 piece. Now that is, to say it to, briefly, 23 folders and also you're going to get your aqua pens, although technically it's 32 folders, because remember you're getting two in the duo pad. So all of that that I was showing you and your aqua pens, £130 or $158. Platinum price comes down to £104 or $126.40. For everything that I've shown you, which is a mix of 3D, it's a mix of duo, it's a mix of cut and emboss, it's a mix of different sizes, phenomenal deal. On that today's price, incidentally, it's actually giving you a saving of 40%. But if you do go for that embossing by the show collection, you are going to get a 12 pack of your Aqua Pens primary colors completely free. So that one, full pack, completely free. You don't need to do anything that's going to come in your basket, in your delivery once you get it home. But 12 of these ones here, it's the primary colours which is going to give you these colours here. Now being the water-based pens, it means you can pull the colour, you can drag the colour, get ample amount of depth and shade and whether it's with water brush, clear sparkle overlay, it's entirely up to you. However, that alone you are going to be getting completely free. All together, £130 or $158. As we say, platinum price does come down to $104 or $126.40. You're going to find all of these and everything else that Debbie's going to be having a look at and showing you throughout this masterclass, as well as Wake Up Call. Basically, everything from throughout the day is going to be across on our website on Shop the Day. So go across there, get a head start, and uh, fill up your baskets and get them checked out, whether it's crafterscompanion.co.uk dot com or dot eu just a very quick heads up as well have a look as well at totally tiffany ben's going to be here for the final show of the day where it's a usa clear house all about totally tiffany so get across there get ahead because there's many items that were limited on numbers However, what you're then going to find is even from Wake Up Call, it is, of course, a warehouse clearance. There we go. Not a clear house. It's not clearing a clear the house. house. Warehouse you're clearing the warehouse. clearance. You could be however, it could be clear now. You might be. You might be. Certainly when it comes to uh, so many of the items that have already sold, we're getting less and less on quantities for you guys stateside have an opportunity to shop in that warehouse clearance totally tiffany so get any comments any questions coming in but what we will do in the meantime we will fire across the day weavers a way to start this embossing masterclass. yes absolutely we're going to start with those panel uh, embossing folders which i love i just think there's some duo in each packet so there's two in each packet mix and match if you're going for that whole bundle at that price whether you're going for the whole collection or whether you're going for the smaller bundle um i think you're going to love the transform cardstock into the most beautiful 
beautiful imagery and that's what we've got with these panels now I've taken a mixture of the timeless tiles along with the bloom and grow okay. and I am going to create myself a little bit of a color wash and um, these measure at seven inches by two inches so when you're chopping up your car cardstock and if we can just go overhead for a second that would be lovely thank you uh, you can see that I've cut this down to seven by two I actually cut mine down a little fraction smaller than the actual size of the folder and that's just to make sure that it fits in there right nice and neatly and I don't get any crinkly or anything like that when it comes mm -hmm. to using them however I'm going to create a bit of a color wash I'm just going to do it with one because I've got some at the side of me that I've got um, and I'm going to use a colour wash in the form of our water reactives. Okay. We have got aqua pens if you're going for that foam bundle and I will be using the aqua pens later on because they're just absolutely marvellous. Um, and there's two ways you can use these because we talk about them being brilliant for blending and distressing but they're also, they're like a paint as well so you can use them as a paint to create a colour wash. Not only can you just go straight on with your um, ink applicators okay. and I'm just going straight in. I've used watercolour cardstock as well Craig because I always say anything that's water-based you get a more mm -hmm. um, premium look when you use a watercolor cardstock but you can use them straight on with your blending tools or you can actually use a bit of a color wash in terms of popping a little bit down onto your mat right and I know you do this a lot because you've told me many a time you use it as a paint yeah, uh, yeah. and you can pick it up with a paintbrush so you simulate a little bit of colour down onto there but you can also use it as a bit of a wash as well mm -hmm. and you get a different effect when you do that when you pop it down um, as a wash I'm going to just put quite a nice bit down onto there let me grab a piece of tissue because I want to dump the Hopefully, uh, Sally Cripps on YouTube. Hopefully, Debbie just answered your question a moment ago. She was saying that when you use your embossing folder, the card creases sometimes around the edge and you're using the correct plate configuration. So it's exactly as you just said there a minute ago, Debbie, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And you can see the look that you get either way. Um, I think you get more of a painted look, a watercolour wash. And of course, when you mix a couple of colours, Craig, you get a really lovely colour because you do, you've got like, that lovely purple yeah. that's mixed between the two in that centerpiece so again there's there's lots of ways that you can use that and then it does dry it dries fairly quickly as well it's mm -hmm. not something that um i mean you can of course go in with your um heat gun and um mm -hmm. dry yeah. that off if you want to uh, but i'm just going to go in a little bit of water so a couple of ways you can use them and i know you've said this often you use them to paint with so if you're embossing you could use it as a paint Gorgeous, as well yeah. uh, but honestly lots of lovely ways that you can use that i'm just going to wipe up my excess incidentally if you have a look on shop the day you will find a selection of what reactive ink pads it's an eight eight pack eight pack 15 percent of 40 pounds or 60 dollars you'll find them on shop today now i'm going to give a little bit of a full bleach technique as well so use one of your smaller brushes this time um all your fingers because we've said often before you can use your, your fingers to just go directly into water and splash to create a nice little um water reactive um effect flow bleaching effect um, so when you've done that, and obviously let yours dry in between, I've got some dry ones at the side of me, but I was just to show you how wow, to create that, that lovely watercolour effect. And you've got yourself a lo lovely piece of patterned paper mm -hmm. that we're then going to put into our embossing folder. And when you do that, Craig, and I will do it because I've got, like I said, I've got some at the side of me, um, we'll pop it in. Mm -hmm. Now, 3D embossing folders are made of a thicker plastic than standard embossing folders just because of that extra level of embossing. There's like um, multiple layers of embossing, which is why they're called 3D. They give it this real, true 3D feel. And you can feel that one side is raised. So on this occasion, where the writing's on the back, that's where it's raised. Okay. And this is the bit that's got the what I call the indentation or the recess bit. When you are pushing cardstock through, it needs to go somewhere. So that's why it's got that sunken in got part. You. So it's important when you use, like for when you're using things like this, a coloured cardstock. Um, there's nothing wrong with a deboss. I'm not going to lie. But when you're wanting to emboss and get some extra detail with inks and gilding waxes, it's important to get that the right way around. So we're just going to pop that in now and run that through. I have got a couple of other pieces here already done um, using that same technique that you've just seen me do. Mm -hmm. So again. We're going to pop those in and I, I always remember that the wording is on the back if you're unsure because uh, sometimes we can trick people <laughs> sometimes we have the wording on the front sometimes we have it on the back do, yeah. we like to keep you on your toes uh, feel
for the raised side and the recessed side so that you know you're going to push through that cardstock into that pattern or into that uh, that colour um, and that's going to be just adequate enough. Yeah. So I'm going to pop those two, I can get two in at once. If you're using your larger ones, you're going to be able to do this in one fail swoop. But with your um, platform of a 3D embossing folder, it's your clear cutting plate that you put them onto, magnetic mm -hmm. shim, and then the clear plastic shim that goes onto the top and run oh. that through. And then I'll put that one through as well. And we're going to highlight and emphasise the extra embossing by using some inks okay. and gilding, uh, gilding wax as well. Because even though it's... Because if you saw the Wake Up Call this morning, you'll have seen that I did it with... Um, just black cardstock. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to do it this time. I want to do it with some colour, because we forget sometimes that you absolutely can use colour mm -hmm. on them as well, um, and they look really quite effective. They do. They really, really do. And actually, just to say as well, and you, you kind of covered half of it a moment ago, Debbie. But maybe once you finish this demonstration, Rachel's yep. just messaged me saying there's quite a few new viewers that would say are saying they'd find it quite helpful if you could go over the different plate configurations oh, for the different. Absolutely. So I know Absolutely. you've just gone over it with the 3D one, but yep. then that's something could uh, maybe Absolutely. go after. Absolutely. And the rule uh, that like, if you haven't got your instruction booklet, and I know not many of us do keep the instruction booklets with our machines, uh, but with a 3D embossing folder, it's always the plate combination that I recommend you mm -hmm. try. Um, and like we said earlier, we covered it this morning about certain machines having different types of pressure. We know that the, 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 all the Geminis have got a fantastic amount of pressure in there to do that edge to edge technology and cutting and embossing. But like with anything, in any you like you have two fridge freezers, they'll operate differently. Yeah. You might have to have one up at three and one down at two. And it's that's how it is. It's about tweaking and, and knowing your machine. That's why I always say when you buy a machine, get to know your machine. Um, as silly as that sounds, it's a worthwhile piece of advice because um, we've got I've got one at home that mm -hmm. works differently to this one okay. here. So I have to just accommodate sometimes how mine works, but mine is an older machine. 3D, always your clear embossing plate, magnetic shim and plastic shim, with the exception of what I've just said about getting to know your machine. If it's too much pressure, and when I say too much pressure, if it's torn through your cardstock or you can see some white lines through there, it's too much pressure. Okay. Take that one out and just emboss with your 3D with those. I want you to try it with first on a scrap piece of paper right. or a pr scrap paper of car park, and you'll, uh, cardstock and you will know the difference. But that's the combination for 3D. Where am I saying car park? Where was that coming from? <laughs> a 2D folder, a regular 2D folder. And when I say a regular 2D folder, like our cut and emboss folders, our cut and emboss folders are never 3D. No. I don't know if you've ever noticed, it's the one level of embossing and then the metal die that's in there. And with that, you'll need your two clear cutting plates for a regular embossing folder. If you did catch the show this morning, with a regular embossing folder, I sometimes, and again, it's about getting to know your machine, I will pop the sandwich of a regular embossing folder with, uh, and especially on a cutting emboss folder, I put my, my metal shim in and sandwich that together. I want you to try it without first. So at home, 2D or cutting emboss folders, just your two clear cutting plates. Perfect. You'll know when you get it out, and we'll come across it because we're, we're going to cover these folders later on in the show. You'll know if it's got enough level of embossing because it's only one raised element. Mm -hmm. If you okay. want that little bit extra oomph, as I call it, pop that metal shim, but make sure it's sandwiched in between your two clear cutting plates. I always say, please don't put your metal shim on that top. There is the danger there. And I say danger, I know it sounds daft, but when you put a metal shim and you've got metal rollers, yeah. the, you can get that banana look, depending on how much pressure you've put in there. Definitely. So we always recommend that your two contact plates with your metal roller in your machine or your two clear cutting plates or the plastic shim mm -hmm. with the cutting plate for a 3D embossing folder. So I hope that helped. I hope that understood. Absolutely, As we go along, yeah. we will carry on talking about those differences and those plate combinations. And of course, if you've got a mini or a midi, and these will go through, uh, literally the mini uh, and the midi for a 3D is just you run those through the plate, the, through the mouth of the machine. It? That's it. Uh, 2D embossing folder is the, plast uh, the purple shim. Right, let's go back to these. So we've got our lovely embossed detail, but right now, can't quite can't quite see it mm -hmm. and I think you need just to lift that a little bit now with these two pieces with the um, timeless tiles I'm just going to go back over with 
the colours that I used, which is the um, parakeet and fuchsia, and just rub over the top. I love this and effect. what this does, and you'll know, Craig, because you, you've, you've done this, it just, again, it highlights that embossed area. So the more deeper rays, the 3D rays, it goes over the top and it raises and adds a little bit more colour and dimension. And I always like to go into that middle section because you get that secondary colour, even though you're just using two. But it just means that when you go over, it picks up that extra detail and just looks absolutely beautiful. And again, you can see it now starting to form together. You can see those tiles coming through and exactly the same. Take your brush or you can go over and tickle it over the top and you get a different look oh, altogether. Look so there's a couple of ways you can do it. I personally prefer to do it with a, 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 an applicator and go over the top just to catch it because what you get with a full-on is that you'll pick up the ink in areas where it's raised and right. that's where your 3d most raised elements is which is why you can see those so but cool. again it's just it's all about the techniques i've got some already lined up here so i can show you but again it just emphasizes and brings out that color of those tiles like you can see just down there now with this one a very quick technique we're going to do we're going to take back our paintbrush so i'm going right. to bring my water back in we're going to drop a little bit more ink just down onto there and i'm going to take my smallest of brushes pick up that ink and we're going to paint you will help debbie if you put enough ink down on there girl that's it let's go back in pick up with your paint and paint over a bit similar oh, to what we did this right. morning yeah that's clever yeah and you're just again picking up a little bit of the detail on the uh, stem so again on that stem just bring that down you can do this with your um aqua, aqua markers as well you could go in with your fine tip applicator mm -hmm. Uh, on one side and just again it's just highlighting those little areas and depending on how much you put down and how much you pick up sorry not put down pick up um your color you can just emphasize and it just brings out the color you can see it more so on the pink and then what you're going to do after you've done that craig is take your gilding wax we're going to come in with a king gold this time so a bit of gilding wax and we're going to go over those petals so the sunflower yeah. we're going to gild over the top so it's incorporating again if you want if you want to make a, a, a neater either go in with a little thin brush because you can use your brushes or go in with your little like we said earlier your little q-tips and you can go in and just use it as a paintbrush I'll be forever grateful for Julia telling what me this one because I never, honestly, deal. when yeah. she told me, I was like, oh my God, why have I not tried that before? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, just to go again, it lifts up. I'll just put on that petal because I've got mine already. You get to them out of like Poundland and I'm yeah. sure you get them out of Yeah, absolutely. You just should get loads of, just to say as well, the King Gold that Debbie's using is at the bottom of your screen. So we do have 25% off all the colours, but that one specifically, the King Gold 30ml pot, down to $8.99. That is with that uh, discount and $12.74. Don't forget, it's 25% off each of the Pebio wax colours. And all you're doing, and all I'm doing with this is I'm just building up. Can you see from the lightest to the darkest, I'm just building that colour up. I like to go on, I've told you before, I like to use my finger for this method uh, just because I feel that I can, I can control it okay. But if you're not, you know, if you don't like getting messy or you can't control it, get one of those, uh, either a brush or a little Q-tip or as we call them over here. What Cotton do we buds. call them? Cotton, cotton buds. buds. I was going to call it an ear bud, but should oh, admit no, that out loud well, because you're not supposed to do them with your ears. You're yeah, not supposed to put them in your ears. Not at all. Uh, but can I you see so. now you've got that lovely design? And again, all you would do then is just buff that up. And then again, what, oh, why do I always say that word? I always say, but it's true. That's what you do. You buff it up. Let's buff it up. <laughs> you doing some buffing dancing there, Craig. <laughs> You need to get him in box. Get him in box doing that. That was so funny. When I said buff him up, do you want to show us again? Show us again. Come on, show what, him. My, my lack of muscles, I was going. You give soon, over. Soon I Debbie saw said, you doing all like this. That That's it. That's it. There we go. The, the <laughs> <laughs> now, 
<laughs> now what I've done is I've done a couple of the sunflowers and I've done a couple of the tiles and I've mounted oh, them wow. onto some of our do you know our gorgeous oh. blue uh, mirror card and yeah. I've just mounted They're those effective. onto there but aren't they effective Craig they look really lovely and build up your colour um, I've, <laughs> I've dropped a bit of glue on mine so it's fine you would have got away with that but <laughs> <laughs> it could look like just a splash gun yeah. time. That's what I could have admitted to. Uh, but yeah, just to create. And what we're going to do is, I've made myself. Um, going to make a. Um, uh, do you know the bay window cards? Mm -hmm. So I'm going with a big bay window card. So I've done a seven by um, seven inches by twelve inches, and just popped a piece of. Um, mm, the card. You know which paper this is, don't you? Oh, is that masquerade ball? Oh no, it's the it's the peacock. I think it's the peacock. It's the peacock. Is oh, it it's the peacock. Yes, it's the it's the peacock. I'm sure it's the peacock. <gasps> Watch me say peacock now. You'll be right, Craig, because I know you. You'll get it. Oh, wait a minute. No, look. Yeah, it's me peacock. Peacock. It is the peacock. It's got similar colours, hasn't it? It, it does. To it, yeah. yeah. And it's same with that backdrop. Now it's the same piece of cardstock in the same size and the same width. But what I've done in this one is I've scored it in at two and a half inches. Uh, wait a minute, let me just show that. Yep, two, sorry, two and a quarter inches, four and a half inches, seven and a quarter, and nine and a half. And I use one of our um, nesting dies to create a bit of an aperture. But when, you, when you're doing your fold, if you take, if I, if I show you there, you can, this is how you get that bay window effect. So you're tucking it in, putting your fold, fold line in. So it's a valley, a mountain, another mountain, and then a valley. And that's how you create that card. And we're only going to stick down this panel. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about this because this is a masterclass about embossing folders. I'm just showing you how I'm using my embossing folders to transform a, a nice, funky style mm -hmm. um, style of a card. And I do love bay windows. I think they look really effective. But where we're going to pop or put, sorry, our panels. And the reason I've chosen these is because these are two inches wide and why I chose this particular size, because I want those panels to sit in those... Um, panels of my card okay so we're going to pop those in and i'll go put one this side there great go. use of combination from both the pattern paper a concept but using that wash effect with your embossing folders yeah just there's so many things you can do with uh, with them craig they're just well you know you know yourself you've been crafting for years and you know just how versatile they are and so many things that you can do with them as there well really is and then I'm going to put my sunflowers. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what did you use that for? But I just thought, rather than trying to cut into it, it just kind of frames it. So I'm just going to pop, pop those two pieces just over that top. And again, we'll just pop our tape onto either side. And I'm going to pop it in that centre of the panel, like so. It's bright, isn't it? <laughs> Very bright. I do like the bright. I like, I like bright, uh, when it's cold and it's Baltic outside, it's absolutely freezing, yeah, I went to the really, car again. It really is. Oh, my days. I didn't worry about not getting my food in the fridge today because uh, <coughs> the car's acting as a fridge. It really, really is. Um, I've gone with the same colour theme, some um, Centura Pearl, and used that to create one of our, do you know our lovely layer of, I said the layerable ones, but that's going to sit in the background. Yeah. I'm just going to use a bit of wet glue for this one. The interchangeable sentiment dies, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, those lovely sentiment dies because I want that to act as uh, the barrier to going in there. So I'm just going to push that up for the bay window and slide it across. I think that's OK. It should be about right. Uh, because from the, for the bay window to stay as a bay, you need to bring it up. So you push it up, and this is when you're then going to decide where you're going to pop your little panel. Now, I've popped it onto some... Um, 3D, uh, not 3D, foam pads, mm -hmm. foam pads, and I've gone in about two inches to where I'm going to put this because when that sits, when it's resting, it needs to sit behind a stopper. It's, like it's a, a bit like an easel it? card and you need it to sit behind a stopper. Um, so you can't have it right to the very end, otherwise it's just going to flop over and it won't have that bay window effect. So I'm going to get it to where I want it to be, about there, and then I'm going to just stick that panel in so it sits behind there. It's like a locking me mechanism, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it stops it. it. Can you yeah. see? It just acts as a stopper. So I'm just going to make sure I've got that in straight. There we go. You can have it a little bit further over if you want, but then I can position this into place where I want that to sit, behind that window, and I'm just going to finish it off with a little bow just at the very top and then just a little panel at the very bottom just to bring it all in together. 
And there you go. Isn't that absolutely So stunning. a lovely bay window card uh, that just literally folds flat but just sits behind its little lip. And I'm just wow. going to straighten up my little sentiment so I don't have that wobbling everywhere. Now, I, Debbie, I put your that down. would look absolutely lovely if those panels were patterned paper. But you've taken that one step further and done your own panel with the embossing and yeah. then your inking. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous when it comes to the 3D panel embossing folder selection. So what Debbie was focusing on there was the panel embossing folders. So I've got them just here. Remember, these are all part of the uh, by the bundle, basically by the collection, where you're getting all three sets. However, if you do want to go for just the panel embossing folders on their own, you can do that. You're going to get your textured knit. You're also going to get your traditional textiles. Also going to be getting your decorative swirls. Then you're going to get your vintage swirls. You're also then going to get your classic damask. You're then going to get your beautiful blooms. You're also going to be getting your timeless tiles. That's uh, also going to be getting your blooms and grow and then your wood, Woodland Splendor. So all of them, nine packs, it's given you 18 folders. It's a saving of 35% on today's price. So you're going to get them for £35 or $45. For you guys platinum, that's then going to come down to £28 or $36. So that is one of the three collections that are part of the by the collections. So you're getting all three of them, plus you're also going to be getting your aqua pens completely free. So you're going to get your floral embossed selection, you're also going to get your floral cut and emboss selection, and then your panel embossing folders. All of that, this is your 24-piece, uh, so today's price being £130 or $158. I mean, look at your saving, you're saving £87.76, or for you guys stateside, $114.84 you are saving. Even more if your platinum comes down to £104 or $126.40. And remember, your full pack of primary aqua pens, 12 of them, completely free. No additional charge whatsoever. You get that free by going for that show collection. So I'm not surprised that that's what many of you have been going for. Always nice, though, because we know it's a considered purchase. We absolutely know that. And that's why we've put these smaller bundles together. So it gives you that bit of a choice as well. But that, by the show, gives you that incentive with having the free aqua pens. We have got Busy Lizzie is saying, Hi, Craig and Debbie. I've been using embossing folders more recently. Think I used to underestimate their versatility. I only recently started embossing on pattern papers, too, and love the effect. It's what Debbie she was on about earlier on, wake up call, about doing your pattern papers. We've got uh, Astrid. Astrid is saying, Doctors say you should never put anything in your ear smaller than your elbow. <laughs> there you go then. That's good. I love that. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I know. Could you yeah, that's very true. Very and they true. do tell you, they absolutely yes. do tell you that. It's the same with little babies and you stop mm -hmm. for, no, no, no. So do you know what you do? If you've already got them, Stop using them, but use, use them within crafting. your crafty stash. That's there it. you go. Jules Gordon on Facebook is saying, I've ordered a couple of these panel embossing folders, the poppy one and the tree one. They look stunning. Think they are arriving today. Excellent. Glad to hear. Then we've also got Shadaya saying, stunning embossing. Make the card look beautiful. Thank you, Debbie. And then Linda Armstead on YouTube is there, and this is actually something we cover every now and again, I know that I do as well. A great card, how do you post it or do you hand deliver it? Box it. Yeah. Um, personally, myself, I would lay it flat and mm -hmm. then make an envelope around that. Um, or box it in a thin box or yeah. something like that. Depends if you want to keep it in that. In, if, you, if you want to keep it in the bay window style so that when your recipient opens it, box it. Mm -hmm. If you don't, lay it flat, make an envelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. The, the other yeah. Thing, exactly as you said as well. You can make smaller ones. Yeah, of course you, you can yeah, do smaller ones. Idea. Don't forget embossing folders. Although they're seven by two, there's nothing to stop you from chopping no. it down. So you could make a smaller scaled bay window card, say um, maybe um, an eight inch one, and then just work out how many score lines you want in there to create right. the bay, bay window effect, put your aperture in there. Uh, so you can scale you can scale them down, that was just a big one, mm -hmm. started big. 
it's that bit, yeah. As you do. It's smaller. Yeah, you can do. Um, what I, I know I've said it as well in the past is, for me, when I make special cards, they're for special people in my life. So therefore, I'm either going to hand deliver it or the chances are they're going to get a present as well. So if I'm posting it, I put my card in with that box and then post it. So very rarely do I post a handmade card just on its own. But as Debbie said, yeah, make a lovely box for it. So that was, of course, the Embossing by the Show collection. We're still going to be sticking with that one because, of course, it is all about an Embossing Masterclass. So the details you can see are on the screen. They're going to stay on the screen. And throughout this demonstration, anything additional Debbie's using, you will see it just pop up on the bottom of the screen. So just keep an eye out. But uh, Quick technique. Perfect. Uh, because I asked, someone asked me about uh, letterpress technique. Um, I was going to do it with the smaller panels. You can do it, you can do it with any embossing folder. But I thought for effect, I'm going to show you on a bigger scale. So I've gone with one of the embossing folders that's in Shop the Show. Okay. Um, and this is one of those lovely. Uh, do you know which one did I pull that out of? Where's it gone? I've just put. I've just literally pulled it out of its packet without even looking at the the actual name of it. I'll find it in a second. But uh, when it comes to uh, things like letterpress technique, um, it's where you're placing ink into your embossing folder. Mm -hmm. And there's two ways you can do it because you can you can create two different looks. And for that reason, I'm going to do it across the whole of the okay. folder so that you can see the reverse and the other side as well. well. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for this one. So um, I'm going to take a couple of, the, I'm saying a couple of the inks. There's lots of ways that you can use a letterpress technique um, with things like briars mm -hmm. um, or simply take the ink pad into your folder or you can take and use um, our ink applicators as well and go in and use the ink applicator. I think you'll find a way that works best for you is all I'm going to say with this right. one. Um, so I'm just going to use a, a couple of colours rather than just one colour, which is what I normally do. In fact, I might use the orange and red because I think they're quite uh, quite juicy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can take your brayer and you're just going to run your brayer across. Now, this will depend on your ink pad, of course, um, how juicy it is. Um, if you're using this for an eating botting technique, this will look lovely with the opaque pigment inks. Um, so you'll get a different look altogether. I'll stick with watercolour for now, uh, but you're just going to go across and I tend to do this I find when you go in with this you don't get a controlled mm -hmm. look um, with a brayer you get a more controlled look okay. however um, just for speed because I want to try and cram a lot in and I've already seen at 40 minutes already no, what the heck, um, has already gone but I'm gonna go across and straight away you'll see you see that difference, the don't difference. You, from each side. Yeah. Even though I've used two different colours, you'll see the difference. So the ink has gone into the um, <coughs> excuse me, flat side and left the um, the recessed side clear. And then this has gone in on the other side where it's gone onto the raised element. So you'll see it all on that raised. And I've just seen a couple of petals missing, so I'm going to go in and just rub a, a bit more ink over the top. And then, now then, what size is this embossing folder, Craig? I think, is it five? Did you say five and a half for me earlier? Yeah, it's about, because uh, that's the floral one, isn't it? So, yeah, I think that one's like five and a half by five and a half. Right, lovely. I'm just going to trim down very quickly a piece of cardstock yeah, no to five and a half by five and a half, and we'll pop that in. Um, now, if you were doing one side particularly than the other, um, make sure when you're doing this that you only do one side. I'm just doing it for speed because I want to show you what they both look like. And straight away, you can see the difference. The difference look that you're going to get when you do this it's 3d embossing folder again so it's that same combination that we've talked about your plastic shim with your magnetic shim and your other clear cutting plate have I done that the right way around Craig I think so, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's me. I just look at it thinking, have I done that the right way around? Yes, you have, Debbie. Of course you have. Have a bit of faith in yourself. Uh, pop that in and then run that through. And you can do this with any embossing fold. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. You can do it with those mm. panel ones as well. The panel ones are lovely. We'll show you a finished sample because I saw it and I was like, oh, my days, it's stunning. Um, but, yeah, there's lots of things you can do. So straight away, when you open that up, I personally like that Snap. look because I love the white look of the raised element. So this is the, you know what we're talking about, having it in the uh, raised part, if it's patterned cardstock or, or a, a coating cardstock, mm -hmm. you would have it this side upwards and that creates that beautiful effect. But equally, on the deboss side, when the ink goes in, it can look just as nice and you can just trim all this down and then you've got two choices. You do, don't My you? preference will always be the raised. Snap. I just love the effect it gives you. 
and then you can go back in if you want to add uh, another color you can either leave it white or you can take your ink dabbers drawbers uh, and you can go in and you can add color over the top um, or you can color them in or whatever it is that you want to do to create if you don't want the white you can go in and add that little bit of colour. Yeah. And then you'll just trim that down. I'm just going to use another colour just over the top. I know that you've done both sides just so that you could show both sides, but what's lovely with that as well, if you are someone that just can't get to grips with what's the emboss, what is the deboss, it's no harm. Ink the whole lot, oh, yeah. emboss it, and then you'll visually see what the side is that you want. Does no harm, um, but it's a good way just to sort show side by side uh, Debbie doing both the, the different ways. Yeah, and that's all it is. And then obviously when you've got your and I've, again, if you're going to fit perfectly, cut it and trim it down a quarter of an inch. Let's just do this because I'm just using my uh, fold, uh, sorry, my guillotine to trim that down. And I'm just going to quickly show you because this was just a very quick technique that I got asked to uh, cover, which is that letterpress technique. Mm -hmm. And then you can add detail. And even if you imagine the whole of it in different colours, it looks really nice, beautiful. Good, I'm not going to lie though, I do love white. I absolutely do, I do. love white. And then you could add your cy uh, cycle pens. <laughs> cycle. Sparkle pens. New, What's a new cycle pen? A new one, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, two different looks that you get all together and there's nothing to stop you as well going in with your colour afterwards and using that um, either way. So really beautiful. And then that finished sample that I'm going to show you with those um, colours using the, um, uh, the the vintage swirls. Yeah. That's the vintage swirls and it's only one of the folders that's been done with the yellow, oh, so that's been is. done with the orange, that's been done with the red and then it's being used as panels to create a triptych card and then use our lovely sunflower collection to add that little bit of element so it's a very easy technique to do um, when in terms of how you would uh, use it mm -hmm. either way try it either way see which way you like I guarantee you love this uh, but yeah absolutely super easy quick technique and that one was just a very quick one to show you how you can use it for that letterpress technique perfect um, Debbie can yes. we use Midas ink pads in the embossing folder yes you can yes absolutely you can perfect I'm gonna grab one Excellent. Bear with me. Thank you. That was Charlotte Everett that was asking that. Um, yes, you can do. I'll leave that to Debbie to explain more. Debbie Cantwell on YouTube. I love using these embossing folders to make bookmarks for little gifts, making some for Valentine's. And Alison Meyer on YouTube saying, currently making a bookmark with the tree embossing folder, inspired by you both. Well, that's a lovely, lovely thing to say. I'm glad we were able to inspire. That's what we are here for. But this is, remember, it's all focused on that uh, embossing masterclass you've got the actual embossing folder show collection but what we can do just leading on from that embossing folder question with the Midas ink pad lots of you do have items in your basket so before we give you a little bit of a break we're going to jump back to Debbie who's away to do another technique for you Someone asked about the um, Midas ink pads. I've just yeah. picked up the pigment one, the metallic one. Uh, you can do this with the uh, the other colours as well. I'm just doing a very, very quick, simple mm -hmm. one again, just to show you. Um, you can pick it up with your uh, brayer. You will pick up uh, quite a bit of ink with a brayer. Just okay. roll that across, and you can then go across there uh, the same way that you would, or you can take it. The difference with the Midas ink pads and metallic ink pads, they're very spongy, um, very soft sponge. Um, so just just bear that in mind when you're going across, but I'll do it very quickly just to show you. Um, you would use a brayer. Please use a brayer for this one because um, because of that soft squidgy sponge, um, it tends to, um, is the clog a right word? Clog? Is that a right word? Yeah, I would Wait, say clog. that. Yes? Yeah. Um, so for me personally, use your brayer to spread around that ink or your ink applicator to be able to spread it. I'm just going to have to grab a quick new one on there because I haven't got one for Midas uh, but you want to be able to spread that around rather than it just sit and you want to have a nice smooth area okay. so a brayer or um, especially with a, like I said the, the mag no it's not magnetic Debbie M metallic. Me metallic oh dear lord um, I'm, I've it's purposely popped uh, black cardstock and then when you go over the top it's exactly the same way um, cutting plate your plastic shim and magnetic shim always have the plastic on the top run that through and then this because it's a because it's a pigment ink and it's the same with all the opaque pigments mm -hmm. sticky 
it sticks it, it stays wetter, it's longer. You can then do the uh, heat embossing technique. So we would now chuck on, while it's still wet, um, our clear embossing powder, oh, which yeah. we can't because Sarah's pinched it. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> But you would then, when you've opened this up, you would then go in and doesn't that look gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Uh, it gets a completely different look on black cardstock. Uh, but yeah, absolutely you can. And then the same way, if you want to add a little bit more, you could go in with your ink pad and add that bit more just to go over those flowers, that little bit more. But yeah, while it's wet, pop your clear embossing powder, heat set it, and you've got a really nice technique. But uh, uh, when you see by using that it gave me that smoother coverage mm -hmm. than it would have done if I had just gone in with the ink pad because it's sticky yeah. and it would cling and clog to the areas. So yeah, and then all you do is you give it a little wash, warm soapy water or a cloth or a wet cloth, wipe it down, dry it off, ready to go again. And that's but does exactly that look lovely? Way to ask. That looks, looks beautiful. Yeah. It's, in, it's, it's instead if you haven't got gilding waxes, you can get a kind of a gilded look yeah. with our metallic pigment ink pads. Good way. So yeah. Yeah. Good way. I mean, look at that, you know, just in these last few demonstrations that Debbie's just shown you, technique-wise, which is what Masterclass is all about. Right, I'm not going to chat around too much because we've still got lots that Debbie wants to show you. So therefore, if you are wanting to join us here on Crafters TV, then you will want to join in Club Inspire, of course. So head across to the website, but here's Sarah to tell you all about Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really the go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, 
the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us, it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and, and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family. Oh, we just love it. It's just an absolute thrill us getting to be here and in here and so many comments like that from uh, all of you at home. It really, really is lovely. Like Linda saying great demos. Thanks, CCTV, Debbie Craig and the whole team. You're very welcome. We've got Bonnie saying good day all. Thank you, CCTV team, for this informative presentation on an underused tool. Well, it's Debbie that's doing all the incredible techniques. Paw Print Times 4 on YouTube is saying, love Debbie's demos, that Midas letterpress was amazing. And then Kathleen White on Facebook is saying, so to run a 3D embossing folder through the Gemini, it has to be the clear, right. So I'm gonna read what, you, what you've put, because I think it's, um, so to run a 3D embossing folder through the Gemini, it has to be clear or frosted plate on top or bottom and magnetic and folder tucked in it correctly. Yes, absolutely. Yes, the contact roll, the rollers in the machine should contact a hard surface, yes. cutting plate and the plastic shim. They're the only ones that they should be contacting the rollers. Not the magnetic, not the rubber, not no. the um, metal. No matter wh what anybody says, no. shouldn't. And I promise you, ha I will tell you why. Because I didn't listen and I didn't read my manual and I put my metal shim on the top and it came, as it come out, these were all flat mm -hmm. and the metal just come out like this at that end. I'm like, ooh. Oh. So please, honestly, just, uh, like, just follow the recommendation. Yeah. If too much pressure and it's ripping through your cardstock, Try it without um, and just use those two for 3D, 3D. Uh, but yes, absolutely, like you've just said, clear cutting plate, folder in your inside, magnetic on the top, and then the plastic on the top of that, sandwiching it all inside. 2D, very, very simple, two clear cutting plates, with the exception of a cut and emboss, which is when you can sandwich your metal shim, but sandwich being the word, in between the two clear cutting plates. So yeah, absolutely spot on. Yeah, that's exactly how you do use the 3D. Yeah, because the other, the other thing is I would say as well, Debbie, is if you've got your magnetic shim on the top, magnetic, let's say magnetic sheet against metal rollers, you can only imagine what could potentially happen. Yes. Magnets, it starts to roll out. So just exactly as Debbie said within that one there. Uh, so glad so many of you are all loving Debbie's demonstration. Just a couple of questions have come through, but what I'll do is we'll wait till uh, just after, because I know that Debbie's got some more to show you. We are going to have a look at some aqua pens. Now we've got aqua pens here, which is a 48 piece pen collection. It says your brush ultra frying nib and you can see it's got there. It is uh, perfect for a cover uh, multitude of coverage. It is a four pack, £64 or $92. If you are platinum, it's going to come down to £51.20 or $73.60 for all of you stateside. So with it being the four pack that we can see here, just wanted to check one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, so it's six, so it's 12, so 10, 20, 30, 40. So I was just double checking the quantities there. So you have then got primary. Now remember, you do get a primary set if you go for that full collection. So your primary comes completely free if you go for that full by the show embossing folder collection. If you don't go for that, or you've maybe already got them, but you're thinking, oh, I want to go for these aqua pens, you've got your primary. You have also got your nature. You've also got your essentials. And then you've also got your florals. 
So this is where you've got your four packs. In each pack, you get 12, and therefore you are getting 48 pence in total. And with these being <clears throat> water-based, that does mean that you can pull the color out, you can drag the color, you can mix, you can shade in different ways. There's just so many ways in which you could use these aqua pens. All of them, £64 or $92. That gives you your saving of £27.96 or $39.96. But if you are platinum, even better, it comes down to £51.20 or $73.60 for all of those aqua pens. So if you're going to start to use them in conjunction, of course, with your... Uh, embossing folders, that's great. You know, we'd recommend, of course, your aqua pens being water-based, so your watercolour card for anything like that. But you are getting that lovely collection of colours that are going to work all throughout the year when it comes to your aqua pens. Do just keep in mind, if you're going for the Buy the Show embossing folder collection, you do get your primaries completely free in there. So if you were thinking about the other aquas, you will potentially then duplicate on that set. But then think about either a spare, although they do last a long time, or think about gifting, or maybe to friends or family, or uh, yeah, just pop into someone's birthday present. They're not going to know. Uh, right, Theo, we'll come back to the full details of the embossing by the show collection because Debbie's ready to show us more. Um, we've got some of the we've got some other embossing folders that you can check out on the website as well as what's on the show as well. Uh, but I'm going to use the timeless forget me nots. I love I love this one. Just you absolutely like adore them. And I love them because they've got two different sizes of these as well. However, um, I did mention this, and I'm going to kind of repeat this technique for those people that missed it this morning. Um, Nina cardstock. So I'm using Nina cardstock um, because I'm going to colour this in using our alcohol markers. So I've cut it down to size. This is four by six in size. Um, as I explained this morning, and as I've just explained throughout the show, a cut and emboss folder is a, a standard embossing folder. So the embossing is standard one level one raised level of embossed detail in terms of how it comes out of the the plastic and then the metal die that's in the other side so mm -hmm. it cuts and embosses at the same time so you've still got the raised you've still got the recess but this time we've got additional metal in there the white sponge in the center is to stay there it's not to be took out it's not to be picked out um, it's not a piece of cardstock it's actually sponge to release that cut okay. every single time now with um, Nina cardstock as I explained this morning it's not the same weight it's not the same GSM as a regular cardstock no. like I normally use like 300 GSM it's uh, about two, is it 216 I want to say 216 yeah I want to say 216 so with that in mind that's when I need to add and think about it add an extra shim because it's not the same weight no. as uh, a cardstock so that's when I'm going to bring in my metal shim so normally standard embossing folders it's the two clear cutting plates but for this one I want that extra little bit just because I've got a very thinner mm -hmm. piece of cardstock in there it'll cut beautifully clean boss beautifully but with the addition of the metal shim it will um, emboss better right. uh, not not so much about the coat it'll emboss better um, and especially when you're going to use it to color with mm -hmm. uh, as I did this morning exactly the same now I'm going to show you how to color with your aquas as well um, we're going to do some vellum oh we've got some inky techniques to do as well Bob. I've completely forgot about that uh, but you can see now straight away it's got that lovely frame but it's given me a really detailed emboss even though it's a standard emboss it's given me a detailed emboss and no more so when you bring in your colors and I've gone for tri-blends this time with a vintage blue blend, citrus blend and a citrus green blend because we're going to colour in using our embossing folders. I think I'm going to go with a vintage blue. Okay. And the reason I like and why I said it this morning, Craig, is I love... Um, I love still to be able to do shade and dimension when it comes to our flowers, um, but so I need me try blends. They're the, they're the better ones to do. So I'm going to start with that lighter colour. Right. And I'm going to use the outside... I say the outside, but use the um, embossed detail to create an easy way of doing right. the colouring in. Okay. So I know that I'm not going to go out because the, the raised element helps me understand it where that out, is. Isn't it? Yeah. And then in the same way that you would use um, your uh, tri-blends, light first, bit of dark, mm -hmm. then a bit of medium. Good up. And then, sorry, because I stopped talking no, about colouring. Okay. Well, I was just about to say, I know you said just a moment ago that you'll be colour, uh, covering the different uh, colouring ways and you're doing your alcohol now. I'll read this question out and um, 
please feel free to answer it at your own uh, time throughout the show, Debbie. But yep. it's Mary saying, Hi, Craig and Debbie. May I please ask if Crafter's Companion multi-purpose white cardstock can be used for both watercolour pens and alcohol pens, mm, yeah. both Spectrum Noir? If you haven't got... So whenever I talk about this, I talk about premium cardstock mm -hmm. for the right so 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 for alcohol and i've said before pencils yeah. smooth super smooth nina yeah we know that's super smooth we know it's got that smooth texture when we talk about premium cardstock when it comes to a water-based product we talk about watercolor cardstock because it's mm -hmm. got the grooves it's got yeah. the tooth it's got the teeth it's got the area for the for, for it to suck into it and react with that water as well as the water soluble inks that we use um without warping I do use, and I know Craig does, because he'll back me up on this, I do use multi-purpose cardstock for a bit of both. Mm -hmm. I do use it for my inky techniques, for water -based, but what you get with it is sometimes you get that bit of a wrinkling, it's, it's a and then how much you put it? down. So that's why we talk about having the premium coloured watercolour cardstock for any water-based products and for the alcohol. We talk about it because you get the best optimum results. But multi-purpose cardstock is a bit more chalky. It's a bit more, um, I said chalkier, but you know what I mean. It's a bit like the fibres, uh, isn't yes, it? Yes, thank you. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Um, so it can react in a different way. It will work, but you won't get the optimum no. results. So that's the difference. That's why we always say, when you hear us talk about it, it's not us trying to get you to spend your pennies so. <laughs> onto some... It's because we're talking about the optimum results that you will get, that, that finished look, that uh, professional look, especially if you're making to sell or gifting to someone, um, use the correct cardstock. But you can absolutely mm. do that if you want to. And I do do it. I do. Yeah. When I've run out of cardstock, and I've run out plenty, yep. I absolutely do. So, yes, absolutely. So did you say that was Mary or...? So, was... yes, that was. That was Mary Seller yep. on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely, you can do. Um, it's just a different look that you'll get. A different look completely, but yes. So I'm going to go carry on doing a little tad bit of colouring. I'm not going to spend too much time colouring because um, I want to show you lots and lots as, as I possibly can. But like you would treat any of your alcohol pens, where you, especially your tri-blends, always with the um, lightest first, then the darkest, then the mid-tone. And I'm following the artwork of the embossed detail, and then I'm just going to go in and finish off with the light. So much love for what you've shown already just within this masterclass alone, different ways in which you can use them, but also the different uh, explanations on some of the ways as well, because it's one that many have been stumped on, on a few different things. So the way that you've just uh, been covering them within just this one hour as it is, I know we've still got, well, I say still got, I can't believe where this show's going. Still got uh, 55 minutes to go. So if there, if there is anything uh, question-wise specific you want to ask Debbie about your embossing, maybe, for instance, it's like Eleanor here, and I'll ask Debbie just in a moment about uh, shims. There is anything, you've not got that kind of right embossed detail. Maybe you just can't get to grips with cardstock and kind of ruffling at the edges. I know we did cover that with a wake-up call. But maybe, maybe there's just a question that you're wanting to ask about embossing. You've still got time to send it through. I've got Rachel on the comments. So I just send one through from Elner, as I was saying there. Uh, when using the MIDI or the MINI, when do I use the purple shim? For a 2D embossing folder or a cutting emboss folder. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's, that's all you need to remember. Mm -hmm. 3D embossing folder, it is simply, you run it through the mouth of the machine. You don't add any shims or anything like that. You just simply use it uh, straight through. Uh, that's how you do it. Now, I've started, and you can see how it already is coming together. Uh, but when you continue that all the way around, use that frame, use that embossed detail um, to create uh, the finished look. And tri-blends always look beautiful. Honestly, I love tri-blends. I've, yeah. I've talked about this so many times. Craig Doc about it so many times they're my literally they're the pens of my choice i tend to go to the most um, but you can see that lovely detail that you get and then we can start to build this up now and pop it into a card form because this gorgeous frame i've used some of our satin um card stock i've used it um from the uh, uh, dare i mention it the glittering snowflakes Ooh. Well, didn't it? It's old hat, didn't it? Really it quickly. Did. Oh, I know it's like a sore point, but uh, any chosen cardstock. <laughs> I've just gone with it because it was a, a lovely colour match to me pens. 
uh, and especially with my uh, paper and I got this from the everyday scenes paper pad the 8x8 eight eight one yeah. um, so I'm just popping that in there because all I'm going to do is do a little bit of matting and layering and again um, let me just pop this down but you're using that, Debbie. It's a good way to show. If you do have cardstock that's left over from a Christmas collection, you, there is no way on this earth you would know that that blue that you've used is from a Christmas collection. No. So even at the time, depending on what the, the year is, doesn't matter. Just think about, well, I could be using it throughout the year. For instance, Debbie's using it with the embossing folders. Yeah. And I've, I've thought about it because I'm thinking, well, if we've sold it out, we're never going to bring it back. And I'm gonna, it's going to be stuck in my cupboard. I'm not going to be using it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> not likely. Uh, I want to use it. So that's what I've done. I thought, oh, I'm just, I've, I've got into a, quite a few of my paper pads and me. Uh, matching cardstock for some collections that we no longer um, have because yeah. you guys loved them and sold out incredibly quick mm. um, but this is just to frame up um, my um, piece so and that's why I've chosen I, I always talk about it a lot I do choose colors first and then colors to match oh, yeah. uh, whether it be paper or whether it be um, well to be fair anything I always choose the paper first mm. and then my colors uh, around that so again I'm just going to pop on the back some foam pads just to give it a little bit of a lift um, we talked about it this morning uh, nature of your alcohol pens you will get um, what we call the bleed through yeah, the back will. always will whenever you're coloring down make sure you've got a bit of scrap paper underneath not like Debbie did a second ago because uh, we don't want to go over that but I didn't put any down I don't know if you noticed Craig I never noticed I bet, actually no I never noticed I'm like noticed. I bet Craig's going to say something to me because I they're putting the blotting paper noticed. down <laughs> but I'm just going to match that over the top and then I've got a set well I did have a sentiment please tell me I've not lost my sentiment after all that oh it's there look silly old me let me get my sentiment out my bag so I'm going to pop my sentiment out and then I'm just going to put a sentiment now in that center I've just dropped my foam pads down Oh, it's getting messy over here, Craig. It's getting messy over here. Is it getting messy it on that side? It's getting messy on this side. Oh. Thankfully, there's nobody in. No, it's until not. Until our lovely Jan tomorrow. Uh, and then all I'm going to do then is finish off. Well, in fact, I'll show you my finished one because it's got some gems on. That's the only difference that I've done with that. I've just put some gems down. And you can see now the lovely effect that um, colouring onto your embossing folder looks absolutely stunning. That is absolutely beautiful, as it says on there. It really, really is. And then just to say as well, I know obviously what Debbie was saying about the paper pads. My way of thinking of it is how many of you at home have spent your hard-earned money on past collections? Always lovely to see how we start to use and incorporate some of the older cards or papers that we've had with the newer items. But that folder that Debbie just used there was part of the Floral Frames Cut and Emboss Folder collection. Remember, there is a By the Show collection where you're going to get all three sets plus your aqua pens. However, you just want to go for the floral frames, cut and emboss folders. Eight piece, you are going to pay £77 or $89. If you're platinum, it's then going to come down to £61.60 or $71.20. Please don't forget as well, everyone else through Central Europe, you just need to go to uh, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. That one is Fragrant Magnolias. This is what you're getting within this bundle here. Striking Gerbera. You're also going to get your Dancing Daffodils. You're also going to get your Vibrant Rose. You're also then going to get your Classic Winter Rose. That's going to come also with the forget-me-nots. That's then going to come in with the beautiful blossoms. And then last but by no means least, you're also going to get the peony blooms. So this is a lovely collection where you're going to get four of them that are four by six, and then four of them that are, uh, well, just over that five inch by five inch. And it does the embossing and it does the die cutting at the exact same time. I know Debbie's focusing on embossing folders and she's doing a lot of color and mediums. Don't forget, if you're going for the folders you can always go back on our YouTube and look at past Colour Me Happy shows and then that will give you some colouring ideas as to how you can start to team them with the embossing folders as well if you want to it's all across on our YouTube for you to go back and watch as is all of these shows do.
Now, later on today, 6 o'clock here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time, for you guys stateside, we do have a USA warehouse clearance with Totally Tiffany. Now, I know I did say the UK time because I know that some of the UK still like to watch, but it is for the USOV. And as I say, it's going to be with Tiffany and Ben's going to be taking over for that last show of the day. We have got an abundance of Totally Tiffany items. A few things have already sold out before we came live today and a few things are already just starting borderline when it comes to the numbers. It's been very, very busy. One of the items that's been busy, and this is the desk made. This is a store and clip pods. This is complete storage system. Now it is half price. You don't get the crafty goodies inside, but you get all the pods, you get the desk made, and you get the clips as well. And it is all about being versatile in how you want to store all of your pods. Now you would think, and you can do, going for the largest ones first, and then get small smaller and smaller, but it's up to you. If you want to twist them and turn them, you can absolutely do that. You can then move them about. You can maybe use these ones completely separate and just have these ones again. It's up to you. You might use them all individually and then use the tray completely on its own. Once again, you can do that entirely up to yourself. Whether it is in the craft room, whether it's going to be in the he shed or the she shed, maybe you're going to be using it out and about, maybe it's going to be for the kiddies, whatever you want to use this for, you can do that. You're going to get all of these little clips as well. Now you're getting a load of these ones. And what these do, although they do look like big paper clips, what these do is these actually clip all of these pods together. Now, within each of the pod, what you have got, I'm going to put one of these in just so you can see, you've got, it's kind of like a little pocket on the sides. That works all the way around. And what you're going to do with that is you can clip one of them in and then you clip it onto the one at the side. That's what holds it together. You're going to do that with all of them and that makes it sturdy within the tray. Or, of course, use them separate if you want interchangeable in the ways, interchangeable into what you use and store inside each one. Change it up. Maybe it's going to be your pens. Maybe it's going to be your craft knives. But then this one here, you've got little dividers inside. So it could be one pocket or it could be three separate ones if you want to. You've got ability to store your plates, your folders in there. Maybe you've got some of your embossing folders you like to use all the time. Perfect one for in there. And then this back one is a great one for your 12 by 12 paper pads. Or, of course, you can go smaller if you want. A4, maybe your A4 plates if you want to. That's up to yourself. Maybe you're going to use it for magazines that you like to store in there. Again, you can do. The other thing that has been very, very busy, you guys stateside have been purchasing in your droves is in the USA warehouse clearance with Totally Tiffany, and that is your 12 by 12 rotating board. Now, if you are a regular viewer to us on Crafters TV, you will know how much we love and you love your A4 rotating board. Well, this one is your 12 by 12. It is for you guys stateside. It is in the clearance. However, it is. 12 by 12, as I say. So go across and onto your website, so crafterscompanion.com. You can just go into the Tiffany icon or you can just go into the search if you want to as well as a few different ways. But that's going to be Ben and Tiffany for two whole hours where the joy of technology, Tiffany is going to be uh, beaming all the way across here. So from Arizona to Newton A Clift, who would have thought you'd be able to do that? So as I say, Ben's going to be here all on his lonesome, apart from Tiffany as well. Six o'clock here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time or 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, half price for that one, £30.46 or $36. Whatever that was there, it's just gone off the screen there. Well, I got close to it anyway. Uh, Debbie, we're having a look again at the embossing folder by the show collection. What are you no. going to do now? No. Oh! It's from the Sarah Secret one, oh. so on the show. So if you go over to Shop the Show, yes. you will actually see that there is a Sarah Signature collection of embossing folders. There is. And, and that's what I'm going to use. We've got a plethora of embossing folders. If you go and have a little look, int, int, wink, wink, because there might be some. 
Um, I'll say that quietly. Go and have a little look. We've got a great selection on the show today. And one of them is the Sake with Flowers, the Elegance Floral Spray, mm -hmm. which actually has some stencils in there, but I'm not going to use the stencils, using embossing. And we're going to use, and I've purposely picked out, um, multi-purpose cardstock for the lovely lady who asked us the question about can you use your watercolours as well as your alcohol markers and I thought okay. do you know what let's do it because let's I do do it, do it. I, I want to show you that I absolutely do okay um we talk about premium results yeah premium yeah. you know on your right quality but I'm going to show you that you can absolutely do it as well and I've got tricolor aquas as well as aqua markers that are in the whole bundle of the shop the show oh, yeah I've shop the show uh, and then again I'm just going to place this in now this is a 3d embossing fold it doesn't matter so much with it being a, a cardstock that's the same color on both sides but okay. the raised element is where the writing is so ever anything coated or anything with a pattern the pattern you want to be seeing so that it pushes through that cardstock okay. when it runs through the rollers of the machine debbie can i just quickly say you that sarah's can. signature and boston folder collection the bundle oh, sold no. out it's gone yeah uh, so there is elements of them that are available so individually this one you can buy separately yes fantastic because that's what it looks like phew there's me getting carried away with myself telling you that there's a bundle <laughs> on there and it's not that. Apologies. It's okay. Do you know, it just shows you how fast people buy things in here because this morning it was there. Yeah, it was. That's yeah. absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. However, you can buy this individually because Sacred can. Flowers is a fairly recent one. It does have, um, um, if you're using inks, you've got the stencils. However, we're not going to use inks. I am going to be using, and it is a 3D, so again, 3D effect, 3D plates, run that through. But I'm going to use aqua markers and try I call it aquas on this. Right. Um, so, yes. Thank well. goodness it's there. <laughs> That's all I'm going <laughs> to say. Otherwise, I'd have been having to quickly change the demo around. <laughs> Oh dear. oh dear, and look, a perfect example of this, cutting it to size means you don't get any wrinkling anyway. No. If you take a look, there's no wrinkling. So I trimmed it down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Fits absolutely beautifully. We've got an area to work from. We've got some aqua pens that we can work from. Um, so I'm just gonna pop a couple of those colors down onto the mat and we're gonna pick them up and have a little old play. So let's pick up with either um, brushes that you can find on our um, our um, uh, website. Gosh, I can't remember the word then. Pick them up and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna paint with them. And they're pretty much the same way that we just did with the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? With the alcohol markers. Pretty much the same way you can, and again, because um, water markers and aqua markers, sorry, tricolor aquas and that, are more forgiving, you can actually start off lighter with the more water you apply to it mm -hmm. and then build it up. So go in with a darker colour and then you can build your shading up. But you can use the, um, the folder again and the embossed detail to be able to get in those nooks and crannies and follow that pattern around. Okay. So I've just done it with alcohol markers. Right. This time we're changing it up to our aqua markers yeah and on our multi-purpose cardstock okay. i don't want you to think of multi-purpose cardstock as just being something that you can just do construction with uh, and we know that it is multi-purpose because we've been saying for however long it was called when it was under its former name yeah, stamping well, card stamping we've been card. saying we use it for absolutely everything what we talk about when we talk about um, water-based like markers like this and using watercolour cardstock is they get a, a more professional finish. But you'll see in a second with my finished one, because I do, as I've said, I do do it a lot, but I do use it a lot for all sorts yeah. of reasons. But it's good to see you doing this because if you are a new crafter or you're beginning out, you're not going to have all these different card stocks. Exactly. It can, it can be bamboozling it at can. first to know the different ones. I, I, and honestly, Craig, uh, when I first started, I was just, in fact, I'd be for a long time using the wrong kind of card stock. Um, and it, only when I got introduced into, when I started crafting a little bit more and you pick things up as you go along and you know yourself, Craig, because you've done it yourself as well, um, you start to realise why. And I, oft do. I often thought it was a gimmick. Mm -hmm, I, I thought it was a gimmick. I thought, well, they want more money off me. <laughs> That's how I thought it. Oh, they want me to part with more money. Oh, no, mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. Why should I need to do that? But I realised, and I soon realised quickly, uh, that there is a reason for that. And these are the reasons why. However, you can see it's starting to look 
and starting to come together really quite well. Uh, I'm going to go in and let's go in with a little bit of that um, mid top because this, uh, this is one of the tricolor aquas, which a tri aqua, what you're going to get in your whole bundle is a dual tip marker with a brush nib okay. and uh, a fine tip. A tricolor aqua, which you'll find on the website, is a three colour pen. Not three colour of the same family, but three that are chosen, carefully put together, that work with each other. So on this one, we've got a green, we've got meadow and verdant green. And all I'm going to do now is, let me find my other brush. If I better put it back in my bag, Craig. Oh, wait, Auntie's there. Hidden. Hidden, Hidden. yeah, hiding it away. Um, going in. Oh, God, clean your brush first, Debbie. You've still got a blue <laughs> on it. And then pick that up, and then you can colour away in those centre pieces. What you can also do with watercolour is you can you can make your own colours, you can build up your own colours. So I'm purposely going in and going a little bit further around um, to create a little bit more of a different uh, colour in that centre. So again... Right. Like that. It's so... I know it's therapeutic to do, but it's so therapeutic to watch as well. Oh, you know, I know. Just sitting watching, you know, just so when it's the way that the colours come together, the shade comes together. It's just that relaxingness. I think I need a new brush, Craig. Have you seen it stay in my brush? Let's see oh. if I can find another one. <laughs> because it's... Do you know when it splays? Yeah. Does it splays, splatters, what's the word? Yeah, it, yeah, it does kind of splays out, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move to me glitter one, because you can do, of course, watercolour. You can lose your uh, glitter pens, or, or clear glitter pen, the clear overlay, uh, to use as a, a paintbrush. It's definitely a great alternative, isn't it, to Yeah, use? absolutely. Um, and again, you water it down as much as you want. You can always dry it off in between stages and then build more colour up and start to colour with it. Uh, what you can do as well, which I do love doing, and I, I'm not going to colour it all in because I've got so much more I want to show you and I can't believe the time. I knew I needed three hours with this show. I weren't happy with the two. I wanted three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what you're going to do then is just use to splatter over the top. So don't, don't waste any of that that's on there. Use it to splatter over the top to create some nice little technique in the background and splatter over don't be afraid to splatter over it because it's a lovely a lovely way that you can use your pens especially your watercolor pens by splattering that technique over so you've got this lovely splattered background mm -hmm. background um, when you've finished it it'll look like this and literally I have done exactly the same what you've just seen me doing with the colors just chosen some different colors watered it down let me just wipe up that watered that down that little bit more uh, and then just added extra depth and dimension and then afterwards splattered all over so I've got this little splattered background technique which again just looks really incredible and when you pop it into a card I'm not gonna make the card for this because I've already pre-made it but popping it into a side stepper using my favorite I'm so sorry I'm like I'm so predictable. Oh, Every time I come, I use it all the time. I'm, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I'm going to have to stop using it. Uh, with love, uh, with one of my little dragonflies. Only again, because I've had dragonflies on quite recently. But again, you can see, taking it into your card-making form, how lovely you the, the effects that you can get. That could go onto a gift box. could be a matching gift box with a, uh, a matching card set. Mm -hmm. uh, but a really quick, easy technique. Watercolour is very forgiving. That's why we've put the aqua pens within that dirt, Shop dirt. the Show bundle. Um, but again, just showing you, not only can you do it with your, your alcohol colours, you can do it with your water-based markers as well. And that is on multi-purpose cardstock, not watercolour cardstock. But as you can see, it just looks really lovely. Looks stunning. Thank you. Absolutely stunning. Love that one. Um, and incidentally, actually, as well, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I love what that looks like, Debbie. And oh, I would love to do that sidestepper. I'm just not good at them. I'm just not good at making them work, what have you. I'm a new crafter or an experience. We might have something coming your way in the next couple of weeks. I'm just, just saying, just saying. Uh, right. I'm going to ask you. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll tell you in a minute then. <laughs> um, we have got, so just one quick question before we're going to let you check out your basket. Carletta saying, Debbie, does the temperature of the water make a difference? Good question. Mean warm or cold? Yeah. No. 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 No, it's water's water. Water. Yeah. And the water soluble. The ink pads are water soluble, our water reactive ones. Um, our um, aqua markers, mm -hmm. tricolor aquas, no, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Water is water, whether it's hot or cold. Um, only thing I would say is don't use boiling hot water when you're, when you're crafting. Um, be sensible no. with yeah. it. But yeah, cold or warm, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you for that one, Debbie. Right, okay, no, we're going to give you a couple of moments just to check out your baskets and then we'll be back in a moment for lots more. And 
Crafts and Folder demos. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on catch up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Who is one of my unsung heroes at Crafters TV? It has to be our lovely John. Not only does he um, corral our um, coordination team together, but he also looks after us experts really well. He comes out to visit the expert house where we need to stay to fix things that are broken. He looks after us, he looks after all, everything that we need. And even brings me cups of tea during the show. Yeah, I should have said John in there too, shouldn't I? Uh, but we all know John's an unsung hero. Robinson and I am having an absolutely fantastic time up here working for Crafters Companion. So my crafting journey began back in, I have to get this the right way around, in 2001. I went to a craft workshop at, just at a craft store and I was absolutely hooked. My mum convinced me to go because she wanted to go and I've not looked back since 2001 and I'm still going now. My crafty insp inspirations are, I have to be inspired by my, my grandmother. She was an amazing sewer and I just love to um, take inspiration from her. I can't sew, but I am blown away by what she used to do. But I just am inspired by all my colleagues around me, the other um, experts. I've just done a show today where we have third parties in and I just love watching them and take little bits from them and then put my own twist on it. What's it like having crafty colleagues? It's fantastic. We are an amazing team. The support from Crafters Companion is brilliant. I have loved it. As you know, I've not been here overly long, but the team have opened their arms and welcomed me so fantastically. And I love watching the shows because a lot of the tips and techniques that you'll see me do in my shows, I picked up from my colleagues by watching their shows. What non-craft facts can I share with you? I have, my pride and joy at the moment is my gorgeous little Cavapoo dog. I absolutely love her. Miss her like mad when I come up here. Elsie's at home with my husband. What is my biggest crafting success? Oh, I just think it was the day I was able to give up a nine to five job and be able to come and be a craft demonstrator full time. And then the excitement when I came to join this team was amazing. I just think that has to be up there at the top for me. Uh, just to say as well, this question about the advent calendar lives that I was doing, the last three of them, no, there's no videos for those ones, but the finished sample that I made using said products is across on both my Facebook and my Instagram. So if you want to check them ones out to see what you can do, you can absolutely do that.
Right, we are all about our embossing masterclass with Debbie. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to incorporate some of our re inkers So you may be familiar with the fact that you can refill your classic, one of many of the pens that you can do. However, with these being alcohols based, you can do lots of different techniques. So we've got a 10 piece collection for you if you want to treat yourself or you want to give it a shot or maybe you just want to actually refill your pens. This is your re inker selection. This is a 10 piece collection. So if you want to have the full details of the colours, you will find them across on the website on Shop the Day. But these are £40 or $50. You've got a really nice saving there. It's saving £19.90 or $29.90. And for that, if you are platinum, that's then going to come all the way down to £32 or $40. So that's lovely when it comes to your re inkers On that today's price, you're actually saving 30% on that today's price. And uh, there are different colours that were previously on the last couple of shows, so just so that you know, but they are across on the website for you. Have a look at crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Right, one of Debbie's favourite techniques. I do, I love, I love shaving foam technique and I do it a lot with sparkle links and things like that. And I got asked by, because the customer service had had a question, could we try it with the uh, re-inkers? Uh -huh. so, Reinkers obviously are designed to re-ink, hence the name, your um, pens. We've talked about this a lot in terms of these are a system that you buy into. Our classic pens, our illustrator pens, they're a system that you buy into because they can be re-inked. You can take it out. Once this barrel of ink has re emptied, uh -huh. you don't have to buy another pen of that colour. You just simply buy the re-inker to match. So the DP4, I know, is the antique plum uh, that will fill up this pen but we got asked to use them now i think jan covered a lovely one the other day using um the alcohol um, oh yeah oh i can never say its name oh i know Iso isopropyl profil that word yeah. alcohol solution um and she did a beautiful demo using them with um our upo paper yes, that we have did. a spectrum raw and uh, dropping it into that uh, with that solution which mm -hmm. looked beautiful um, and so the next question that got asked through to customer service which is why they've asked me to cover this one is can you use it with your shaving foam technique and so we're going to give it a go yeah. let's give it a go and have a try uh, and you can incorporate your embossing folders into them because you can then um emboss over and right. add them as well but we're just going to create a couple of little background papers cheapest chip foam and i said cheapest chips i'll cover up the make Give it a little old shake. The cheaper, the better, to be fair, Craig. You don't want to be using... I mean, I know you don't shave. Well, no, do you shave? Not now, I don't, no. You don't shave anymore? No, no. You just trim? No. I do, well, I maybe do a little tidy up at the right the edges, but a natural shave, shave, no. No. I, I, I used to, as it is, I used to get the same brand as the one you're using now, the Asda one that you're <laughs> using. So, <laughs> I'm thinking I might need to get my other one out of my bag. Oh, just hang on a minute, because I'm not sure. Oh, God, I'm, I'm, sh I'm chucking it everywhere. Just give me a second, please, if no, you would no, be so no kind. Because I have carried, I carry two now. Because yeah. uh, I have got my um, more expensive one that then accused me of pinching. Cheeky devil. You can't blame me. He, can't he, blame bl me. he blamed me. He said, Have you pinched mine? Oh. I went, Have I, heck? I've got my expensive one now. You've got your expensive one? Yeah because, yeah, because I think that one's running out and I need to get... That's better. That's better. Thank you very much. Overhead always looks better. It makes me laugh when I see it come out because it's... Um... It's like I mean, that insulation it, foam. It, it smells just amazing spans. though, doesn't it? Absolutely. I think I'm, I'm definitely going to have to get some more. Don't use the expensive stuff, but... Oh my god, it smells amazing. <laughs> it just smells divine. <laughs> uh, can you imagine? <laughs> it's a good job you went over here then, Craig, because I think I'd have been, I think I'd have come a cropper. Mm -hmm. It would have yeah. been like the custard pipe flinging that <laughs> yeah. you used to do in Tis Tiswas? Tiswas. Mm -hmm. Back in the eighties, do you remember that? I, I, I've heard oh, actually, about that. I don't know why you weren't even born. No, eighty-five. You were born in eighty-five. Eighty-five. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So um, each one of our re-inkers, don't know why I shook it. I think I think I was playing with me uh, me sparkle pens. Then has got a pipette, and so I'm just going to drop one or two 
little drop you don't need a lot with this at all uh, but you can have a little play in terms of using and any liquid ink would work with it um but yeah we got asked to do this so we thought we'd give it a try didn't we but we said, oh, let's, let's try it let's drop a little bit oh so this one is the um, did you say this was a bundle or they can buy them separate uh bun you can get individual on the website but yeah this is a bundle with uh, 10 10 in the pack yeah so there's there's loads of gorgeous colors in there um but yeah why not it's liquid ink why not give it a go let's try a different oh let's put a bit of that in and then i think i might have a little we've got a green there it's yes an addictive we've got a nice technique green. to do isn't it you what love it's an addictive technique it is. to do it is i mean you know how much i love doing it with my sparkle pens and inks so yeah it's absolutely but um with alcohol let's try mm -hmm. let's have a little let's look go. Absolutely. Go for so we're going to go in, drop just a couple again. And I think, how many colours have I got in there, Craig? Is that four or five? One, two, four. three. I think we should be up. Maybe a little blue. Let's just try it. Let's just try let's a little go bit. Let's go nuts. Come on, let's go. Let's, why, why not? Go crazy with the colour. Why not? Oh, that's a nice one. Ooh. And this is a this is one that you could get your kids involved with as well. Um, with it being alcohol link, probably would say pop some gloves on mm -hmm. is what I would say. Um, Debbie hasn't got any gloves. Uh, Craig teased me that he had got plenty at home, but that's yep. no good at home. Nope, <laughs> but what you do, get your little I will pokey bring tool. Them in for uh, <laughs> anyone that needs them in here. Get your pokey tool and create your pattern literally like a marble effect uh, add more rinks if you need be but yeah you can create still because it's a liquid ink at the end of the day it's uh, just an alcohol form um but yeah look at that looks nice doesn't it mm -hmm. should, we, should we leave it there yeah let, oh, let me just pull that out a little bit there we go <laughs> i can never i can never just leave it craig that's my problem i'm just going to wipe my poker tool down and let's grab a piece of cardstock. So I'll use um, a, a nice piece of uh, multi-purpose cardstock again. And we'll go down and just push that down onto the top of the foam. Now, I'm going to be equally as uh, wowed as you maybe in a second. Or maybe not so wowed in a second. We shall see. Oh, well, you will uh, definitely because... be wowed. <laughs> Because I've not done it before, but can you see? Because it's an alcohol, it's coming through like you would with your normal alcohol ink. So let's mm -hmm. give it a go. So again, when you take it off, now what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and keep my counter, which is why I fetched two pods out with me. Um, either a um, an old credit card. I just had one a second ago. What would it be? Do you know? Old Craig? blockbuster card, was it? Yeah, it were an old card, yeah, and I've just had it in my hand, but, I, oh, it's, do you know, sometimes I just can't see for looking. I say an old card, it was an old card uh, given to me uh, for something else, but yeah, just then sweep it across. Oh. And tap that off onto the side, sweep it across and tap that to one side and you've still got and i'm only going to do the one because it, i can see time again running away and there's a couple more techniques i want to do but you've still got a lot of the ink in there that you can then um again get your pokey tool and create a pattern i knew i'd get messy i knew i should have left this till mm -hmm. end <laughs> drop some more inks in there if you want to uh, but yeah make sure you've got it somewhere clean and then again that's it you've got yourself a beautiful swirly background pattern uh, like i said with them being alcohol inks the nature of an alcohol as we all know seeps it soaks um, so just bear that in mind when you're using it yeah. but look at that lovely effect that it's created that beautiful sw it never ever I never ever tire no, I don't. of um, looking nope. at um, any kind of liquid ink technique uh, when it comes to using uh, those beautiful reinkers in a slightly different way we got asked we've given it a try I quite like it it's nice and subtle mm -hmm. I would let that dry off because obviously shaving foam's got a water content to it so let it dry um, but then you could then take it and then use your embossing folders in there your cutting emboss oh, the cutting emboss the frames oh, they look beautiful no. absolutely give that a go uh, but yes reinkers they are intended to fill up your pens with that's how they came into the market they are for your permanent pens to uh, keep on using the life expenses to just keep on going they don't need to retire them or anything like that they do re-ink your pen and a simple way to do that is take your um chisel end out and drop your pipette in there to fill up your ink but there's lots of things you can do jan showed you a beautiful mm -hmm, one with the upo paper and the alcohol um solution yeah um and i think debbie's done one before with that as well and michelle i think as she's done one but yeah you can use them with us but got asked we've given it a go it looks beautiful i love that 
I really love that. I love it That too. looks gorgeous, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And that's just with a couple of those inks that you can have a go with. And then you've got yourself a beautiful background paper. And maybe not necessarily so embossing on top of. Maybe you want to just use that as a background piece to your, uh, th uh, your uh, pieces. Or die cut. Die cut that would be nice fab. as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would look really, really fab. That, and that's the thing, you know, you're getting that. And you could use those same, what was it, five colours that Debbie done, but you're going to get a different look every single time. Unique, not to the same across the whole world. So you could be doing that if you get your hands on these re inker selection. So you're getting 10 in total, comes down to £40 or $50. That's actually giving you a saving of 30%. You can see it on the screen there. £19.90 or $29.90. That's what you're going to be saving. But if you are platinum, that's going to come down to £32 or $40. All of the 10 colours are across on the website, so you'll see the listed colours and the actual codes for your alcohol pens. But if you're wanting to do a little bit more colouring, you've maybe never tried our water reactive ink pads before, we've got our water reactive ink pads on the show as well. So we've got an eight piece when it comes to these ones. So this is your eight pack collection, £40 or $60. You've got a saving of 25% on that one there. And then if you are platinum, it comes down to £32 or $40. Just to say as well, on that today's price, it actually kind of works out that you're getting one for free. And of course, even better when it comes to the platinum price. Uh -huh. Then we're going to go from our alcohol pens to our water reactive inks to now our aqua pens. This was the one that I was showing you just not that long ago. This is your aqua pen. So it's four packs, giving you 48 pens in total. £64 or $92. Look at that saving on aqua pens that we use day in, day out here on Crafters TV. You're saving £27.96 or $39.96, but you've guessed it, even better if you're platinum. It's going to come down to just over £50, £51.20 to be exact, or $73.60 for you guys stateside. These and everything else and so much more cross on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Easiest way to go there is, of course, shop the day. Just to say as well, going back to those re-inkers, yes, that is the 10-pack. However, you will find, as we were uh, referencing just not that long ago, there is pages and pages and pages and pages pages of individual re-inkers as well. So if you want to get some different colours, different tones, maybe you love the blues, but you want to go for a variety of different blue, blue tones, you can do that, of course, but at least we've got that 10-pack bundle as well, which is lovely to get you started if you've never tried anything such as the shaving foam technique. Right, we are all good, no questions as such, so what we can do is we might just be able to squeeze one more Debbie. Deb oh, Debbie? Do a couple of... Debbie. <laughs> I was going to cover a couple of techniques that yes. I've seen because I've, I've had a little One peek. One last demo <laughs> out of Debbie. I might be able to squeeze too because there are a couple of techniques. Actually, do we have to do the card of the short as well as the day? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. there's the Tiffany one, isn't there? Right, yeah, let me go and get my cards. Let's get the cards because okay. we've done some finished cards. Um, rather than the techniques, we can show those. Oh, it's a good job I remembered that, isn't it? Uh, whew, that was close. Number one. <laughs> oh, look at that. Number two. Okay. Or number three. Ooh, nice. I'll let you decide. Ooh. One, two, or three. It's too hard to do. Oof. I'm so glad I don't have to choose, I'm telling you. You've I'm literally sure got a couple I don't of minutes. have to. What's that? No, I'm just saying I've literally oh. got a couple of minutes because we'll need to do a demo of the show as well. <laughs> <laughs> It's a difficult one. Uh, yeah, someone asked me about um, um, what it looks like to do onto vellum. Uh -huh. I couldn't find any plain vellum, but I know we do have plain vellum around. Um, always looks nice white, white on white, because that's what will happen with this. Um, and I am going to use a 3D folder. I've, I've brought this one out. I think I'm hoping to goodness I cleaned it well enough, because the last one I used was the metallic one. Uh, but yeah, asked about vellum and about acetate. So we'll pop a little piece in to show you. Mm -hmm. So because it's a 3D again, um, it is that same combination where you're using your plastic shim, your magnetic shim over the top to sandwich that in, and the um, plastic shim on the top. So cutting plate, sorry, sandwich, 
Magnetic, mm -hmm. plastic, okay. nearly got it all wrong. It nearly all came out wrong right at the very end. I'm like, no, no, no. Uh, but yes, and so with vellum, you have to bear in mind it's a different kind of a weight. Is it, they call it micron? My, micron, micron, isn't it? Micron, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so um, with that in mind, however, I love this effect because um, it creates um, a white-on-white -white effect. So I'm going to grab a piece of black cardstock just for a second so you can see it. Yeah. Um, because it looks so effective, really, really beautiful. I haven't done anything with that other than run some vellum that looks through, incredible. and it looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, if you get some tears or some cracks, that's when we talk about taking out that the magnetic shim. Right. Just run it through because it's a micron, not a GSM. Um, you might just need to alter it slightly, but that looks really beautiful. It, lo it almost looks like I have. Um, what do they call it? Oh, um, like pergamanos or, or um, yeah. Um, oh, oh gosh. <sighs> Someone scream at us because yeah. the word is just... It's, parchment. Parchment, parchment yes, parchment. It. it looks like I've taken a parchment tool and done out all of that white line artwork through there. And that was a bit of a bit, and I mean a bit, of vellum. And it started life as this plain vellum and then turned into such i mean that is beautiful imagine that mm -hmm. on your box lids oh. and you know with a, an aperture with that on the box lid it would look absolutely stunning or maybe an aperture of your card and you could again you could cut your frame out it could be a it could be a frame picture but how beautiful does that look and then somebody asked about um acetate so i've brought in some about everyweight acetate okay I think I took the protective film off. I think I've got a dodgy piece here because it looks like it's covered in... Mind you, it could be me. Just to <laughs> say, Debbie, looking. we've got a result already. Have you? Yeah. Already? Well, yeah. They're unanimous. It was number three. Number, number three. Number three? Yep. The watercolour one. Yeah. Well, do you want to grab me, for, me first one let's from this it. morning? Well, it's let's definitely going to be a it. floral theme. It is. Right, let's, let's do the demo of the day. Day, yeah. And we'll start with... The first one from yes. Wake Up Call, yeah. So it was Daisy Collection, Debbie Dunn. Number one is one of your choice. And then on to Debbie's. Number two. You decide. You do indeed. We're just waiting for the guys to catch up. There's a bit of training going off in there. <laughs> and it's just taking take a while. So if you're wondering what's going off, we've got a little bit of training going off. Oh. Craig, Craig, get back. Hang on a minute. Go back, go back. Go back to Craig. Number one. one. And two. You decide. Sorry, Jamie. Aren't we awful to him? He's <laughs> training up in there on the on the buttons and the thing. And we're, we're, we're so sorry. So, yes, our lovely Jamie's in there. And our George is training him as well. So, if you wonder why, <laughs> he's probably got all sorts going off his head. And then me and you aren't helping. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, you forgive, do you forgive? That's okay, then. That's okay. Uh, do you want to see what it's like on acetate? Let's do some Go on then. Um, shall we do? Shall we do one of the strip ones, or should we do? No, we'll do. A, well, we'll stick with the one I've just done. Just going to cut it down to size. Um, I'm using our heavyweight acetate for this, so I'm going to trim this down to the size of the um, folder again. Just makes it a little bit easier um, when, again, when you are doing things like this. But the thing with acetate is it's almost invisible. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just going to pop that into that folder. And again, this is 3D. Now, this is a... Again, this is a micron. Is this a micron as well? Uh, yes, it is. Yes. It is, isn't it? I'm getting uh, confused yeah. now with my, micro, my yeah. microns, my GSMs and everything else. Yes. Vellum and acetate is microns. Yeah? Yeah. And, yeah, you're and, right. and paper and card is GSM. GSM. That's right. I knew... Do you know, when you get confu I get confused very easily with things like this. Uh, but yeah, it, so you can do, and you can do it with uh, pattern cardstock as well, textured pot cardstock, which looks equally as beautiful. I apps, honestly, I can't tell you how much I love it on acetate. Um, it always wows me every single time. Um, look at that. That looks wow. beautiful. And when we were talking again just a second ago about box lids, if you want to have something with a, a see-through factor, but such a heavy detailed pattern, it's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I know it's a 3D folder, but this is when you can then take your alcohol markers and you can colour in the back of it as well. So I'll quickly do that while we've got a few minutes. Please I'll do, just grab yeah. a couple of, um, of tri-blends. So let's go in with a pink and a green. Interesting to see. I mean, even just that kind of shine off yeah. of the black card there that you see, it's just lovely. It really is lovely. A lot of love for it as well. Just to see how it, how it looks 
on acetate. Sometimes things, some of you can be scared, you know, well, is it going to work with the acetate? But you can see there with what Debbie's showing you, it really, really is. And you can take your alcohol mediums and colour um, either in the back or the front. It's entirely up to you. Um, and again, it's just another, it's like a stained glass window effect. I'm purposely trying to do it where you can, there, but that's better. It's, it's very, in fact, do you know what it'll work against? White, won't it? That's true, That's yeah, try the white. There we go. Um, and again, just using the embossed detail to uh, colour around. And you could do this with your alcohol markers. Uh, your vellum would look beautiful coloured in with pencils, especially if you're using a plain vellum. Uh, but yeah, just use, use the um, raised elements to create this lovely way of colouring in your Great acetate. Great idea. Really good idea. Oh, Sorry, I'm wait. just, I'm, I'm literally trying to concentrate, Craig. No, no, I, I, know, that's okay. I know you're trying to concentrate uh, there, but again, you can see now you the can. effect that it creates. Um, I do love where it's plain, I'm not going to lie, but yet yeah, the effect that you get with your um, colouring um, pieces, and depending on where you're going to pop it, um, when you're colouring it in, either on the recessed side or on the raised side, it's entirely up to you. There's no right or wrong way. Uh, just have a bit of fun. Exactly. That's have a it. bit of fun and experiment with it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all I will recommend you do. Just experiment. Well, Miriam saying both of them were awesome. Mary Reno saying uh, tough vote, which, you know, it really, really is. Miriam's also saying, wow, I've never seen embossed onto acetate. Wowzer. Yeah, it is a wowzer. It's a wowzer trousers. Crafty Angie's saying, I have a lot of these folders. Is it, is it the grouping that is new or are they new? Ah, got you. So they're not brand new embossing folders. It's just new configurations that they've been put together today. So they're not brand, brand new. No, so uh, you may have already had them within your stash. Uh, for you to, um, to to be using, so yeah, hopefully that helps for your crafty Angie on YouTube. We've even got a result in. Have we? Hang fire just for a second, because I know everyone's loving seeing what you're doing here with the acetate, Debbie. Well, it's like I said, it's just it's just having a play. Just um, I've often talked about it myself because we know there's lots of techniques out there. I've tried to cover a few today, this afternoon. I really could have done with about, th I'm not going to lie, about three hours to have gone through <laughs> all the things that I wanted to go through. However, I've given you some ideas. I've given you some food for thought with it. Um, I hope I have anyway. And I hope you have enjoyed what I've shown you. Uh, it's just my take on, on how you can use your embossing folders. Let me go with that darker colour. Um, how you can use your embossing folders. Have an experiment with it. Don't just necessarily think embossing folders, gilding wax, that's it. Because it's not. There's no, so gosh, much no. you can do with it. Um, and like I said, we've got some amazing embossing folders, some great ones on the show today. Uh, but we've got a plethora, a plethora of embossing folders out there uh, for you to um, have a little play with. But can you see now that lovely stained glass window kind of effect? Continue that all the way around and you've got a really nice piece or keep it just plain. If you keep it just plain, Move that out of the way. There you go. You can see that lovely see, detail. I like that as well. The detail is absolutely phenomenal. Honestly, and we've talked about embossing. T you know, you can emboss tissue paper. We've talked about. Mm -hmm. We do that a lot in our Gemini demonstrations, yeah. where we talk about uh, things like tissue paper, embossing with your tissue paper, so you can wrap your gifts around as well. Uh, but loads and loads of different things that you can do, from colouring with your alcohol pens, markers, aqua markers, pencils. Um, going on to acetate, going on to vellum, wherever my vellum's disappeared to, because it's just disappeared now. I know it would do it this time of day. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of things that you can do with them, um, making your own water background techniques, uh, using your um, different kind of liquid inks to create a background technique as well. Um, but yeah, some lovely, there it is. I love that, I just adore. Oops, I've dropped it in some mug. Uh-oh. Trust me, you know the card that I've been using? Yes. With me alcohol pens, I forgot to wipe it. Um, so I've just dropped that on the top and now it's got mucky. Um, in the bin you go. However, however, lots of ways that you can use embossing folders. Um, take it into your card making, into your box making, into your home decor, uh, into your mixed media. Die cut into it once, once, and I always say this, when you are doing some die cuts, die cut first, then emboss. Um, again, mm -hmm. you can emboss leather, you can emboss um, faux leather, you can emboss lots of different materials from aluminium can metal craft metal oh, yeah, there's good. so many things 
things that you can do with an embossing folder that they really shouldn't be a, a, you know um, an underdog no they should be right at the top of the game which is why I think we are because we bring out some beautiful yep. ones in all of our collections we bring some out we focus on embossing folders sometimes like today all of the embossing folders. so many beautiful techniques um, I'm just honestly blown away by what you can do with it which is why they'll always be one of my favorites and i hope a little insight today i've given you just a teeny weeny teeny weeny weeny little bit of inspiration to get yourself out there and start using them make them a focal part of your card mm -hmm. make them a background piece yeah. if you want die cut into them whatever it is that you want to do with them use them don't let them sit in your drawers no get them out, use them and enjoy them because they're absolutely fabulous. Well, Lynette Price on Facebook will be saying what so many people have been saying as well as myself. Wonderful demonstrations this afternoon. Thank you, Debbie. We'll certainly be trying out these techniques. The vellum and the acetate are fab. You know, even for me on this side here, you know, I've just been absolutely amazed and just been really, really inspired to be doing little bits and pieces as well as to what Debbie's been doing within the last couple of hours. And Michelle Knit uh, for you on YouTube is saying, I bought all three collections. I can't wait now. I know many of you will be saving this show on your YouTube playlist for you to go back to time and time again if you so wish. But we do have a result of the demo of the day. And demo of the day, it just does, it goes to my side. <laughs> those daisies. Those daisies. Those daisies. It is. So it's that gorgeous card using the delightful daisies that Debbie done within Wake Up Call earlier on today that you can always go back and re-watch and see how Debbie created this card. But this whole show has all been about embossing. You still get your hands, you've still got the opportunity to get your hands on the embossing folder, which is the Buy the Show collection, where you're going to get all three collections. And if you go for that, you're going to get your 12-pack primary aqua pens completely free. £130 or $158. Platinum price comes down to $104 or $126.40. Debbie, I've had a blast. Thank you very always, much. As always, when I'm with you. It's been lovely. Thank you for my white Cadbury's chocolate egg, which you I shall be welcome. divulging into tonight with a nice cup of uh, coffee. Uh, I'm looking forward to that because I am going home tonight. I'm going to go and see my grandkiddies tomorrow. I can't wait. Oh, uh, but I will be back here on Saturday and Sunday. You've got me for two full days at the weekend. Yes. It's going to be unusual because I've been at the weekend for ages, so I'm no. right looking forward to it. Um, so, yes, join me on Saturday. But... Our lovely Jan's in the building tomorrow as well. She's indeed. Yes, so it's going to be some great shows on Crafters TV, as always. Uh, but thank you very much for joining me over the last three days. Thank you for putting up with the three days. I hope you've enjoyed. We don't I hope you've enjoyed them. It. No. Nope. And I'll see you all soon. You will do indeed, yeah. And incidentally, it's going to be myself that's going to be back with Debbie on the Sunday. So also looking forward to that. I'm not going far away. I'm going to be back tomorrow, all day tomorrow. As Debbie was saying, you've got Jan for the first two shows of the day. And then we have got a Tiffany two-hour show. So we're going to be reunited once again for two hours, myself and Tiffany. However, talking about Tiffany... We've got a USA warehouse clearance special all about Totally Tiffany for you guys stateside. That is me now for the day, just like Debbie. However, Ben's going to be taking over the reins. He's going to be in. If he's not in just yet, he'll be in very, very shortly, where they have got in incredible Tiffany deals when it comes to Totally Tiffany collections. This whole week on Crafters TV, across on our website and Tiffany's website, it is all about getting yourself organised. When it gets yourself organised, you need some of the best products and some of the best deals and that's exactly what we have been doing. So you'll have seen Tiffany shows and Tiffany featured throughout the week. So as we are coming to the end of the week, we are going to be seeing her popping up just for a couple of last times. That's going to be tonight, as I say, that's going to be with Ben. So if you are wanting to watch here in the UK, it's going to be six o'clock. But for you guys stateside, that's going to be two o'clock here, uh, Eastern time at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Please may, do make sure that you check out Shop the Day. Have a little peruse on the website while you're there. But certainly that Tiffany section, click on that. You're going to find everything that Tiffany has got in store for you, as well as what's in stock. If you're checking out those deals, look out for that orange sticker but that'll be Ben and Tiffany just later on. So if you are watching live, that's going to be in a couple of hours' time. 
I will say goodbye and see you tomorrow morning for a wake up call with Jan, which is going to be lovely as well. I've got a lovely weekend coming up where I'm here all day tomorrow. I'm at Hobby Maker here in the UK on Saturday, and then I'm back with Debbie again on Sunday, which will be lovely. Thank you so much to Rachel for your help in hand today. Also to uh, Johnny and George and Jamie for helping out within this masterclass. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Have a lovely evening when it comes to Ben and Tiffany. If I don't see you beforehand, I'll see you tomorrow morning where we're going to go all crafty. We're going to end the week with a Friday crafty takeover, that's for sure. Have a lovely rest of the day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.